Hello everyone. Welcome to Sharad Chandra IS Academy. Welcome to the session on Intel's news analysis. Today in this video, we will be discussing about agriculture sector. This particular topic is been in news from past few years and always it's a favorite topic for UPSC and state PSCs as well. Coming to this particular topic, this comes on the GS3 wherein we will be having a syllabus line talking about transport marketing of agriculture produce issues related to the constraints e technology in aid for farmers so this is what is a upsc syllabus line that was there with respect to agriculture coming to agriculture as such it was having a great weightage because this is a one of the most important topic because india is mostly an agriculture based economy agriculture based economy okay so now getting into the news topic the sector was in news for many actually instances the first main thing is world economic forums report world economic forum forum recently in october have released a report talking about using technology to improve billion livelihoods so this particular report is focusing upon the agriculture sector in india wherein it was suggesting that india should increase its techni technological aspects with respect to agriculture using kisan drones and all using drones in order to improve the things in agriculture that's what is one thing which the report is focusing upon that was one main aspect which was in news and other thing is that prime minister have launched one nation one fertilizer scheme during the two day event of pm kisan samman sammelan which happened in the past month so this is one thing which actually becomes important here one nation one fertilizer is one thing is a upcoming aspect in agriculture apart from that the world economic forum report which was released in october is also an important thing which is there in news so coming to this particular topic when you look into the historical perspective of how the agriculture have grown the first agricultural revolution happened in neolithic age wherein there was a slow change from hunter to a food gatherer you know from food gathering hunting towards a settled life is what human actually started that was called as first agriculture revolution those were the first instances where human started understanding the importance of agriculture the second agriculture revolution is coinciding with the industrial revolution in our country wherein we talked about increasing the technology in the agriculture we used hybrid seeds we had green revolution and all the third agriculture revolution is basically totally talking about the hybrid varieties pesticides including fertilizers and all india was basically now in third agriculture revolution although we have green revolution which was once a, once in a you know in later half of 20th 20th century and all which had exponentially grown the productivity with respect to agriculture even now also we were focusing on focusing upon that particular thing now coming to the data which is related to agriculture India is the second largest food producer it is the largest producer of milk pulses and millets it is the second largest producer of rice and wheat and the largest producer of buffalo meat as well so these are all the statistics that were there in your economic survey and in your budget in 2020 20, 2021 and 2022 it was given that almost 18.8% of you know india's total gva gross value added is coming from agriculture it means what we were seeing agriculture sector having a major share in your economy previously in starting months it was 50% share but now it was actually 20% you might feel it was actually reduced but the thing is that here we we need to inculcate some technological aspects over there in order to increase agriculture's contribution to the economy now coming to the statistics as such this particular was a uh, thing was actually grabbed from the government document itself wherein it says in 2016 the growth of agriculture was 6.8 later it fell to 6.6 and 2.6 in 18 and 19 and again during the covid time you can see agriculture is the only sector that have shown a positive growth rate from 2.6 to 4.3 then again it reduced a bit and again now it is 3.9 so these statistics are very much important because sometimes when question is asked re with respect to the things related to agriculture it was always statistics and data which help you a lot okay uh, the uh, topics like agriculture industries demand statistics there itself you know then and there itself you can actually conclude what are the steps that you need to take and all so that's what this the statistics related to this particular topic 
Now coming to the document that was released by World Economic Forum, there they have mentioned nine key issues holding Indian agriculture back from achieving its full potential. As it's the document, as the document is primarily focusing upon the technological backdrops of Indian agriculture, it has given nine important issues. So these are the nine important issues. The first main issue related to agriculture is fragmented land holdings. Say for example, if you are having uh, an agriculture land which is, you know, uh, which is having uh, uh, some around some 5 to 7 hectares or 500 to 700 hectares or so. There is a different, right? The difference, right? The productivity will be different. The money that you invest in that will be different. Here in India, we have mostly small and marginal farmers. Okay? Small and marginal farmers like holding, you know, smaller lands. For that particular small land, he cannot use, he cannot bring in proper technology. He cannot use drones to, uh, to have surveillance. He cannot use, uh, you know, uh, high quality fertilizers, high quality surveillance and all. He cannot maintain a database. So, if the land is fragmented, the investments with respect to that particular land will also get reduced. So, that is one particular problem which was observed. The other aspect is inefficient use of agriculture input. For example, a farmer who is not at all having an awareness with respect to what amount of fertilizer is required for what land. Without any awareness, he keep on putting fertilizers thinking that the land will gain capacity. But over a period of time, this will show negative impact. Because the thing is that those are finally end of the day, they are chemicals. If he, were, if he was not using in an efficient manner, that will obviously bring effects on the productivity. So that is one problem which is very important here. Low mechanization is another problem because as I have told you when the land fragments are small, if the areas or the acres that you use is small, we do not have a proper you know mechanization. We cannot have that much of investment in order to increase mechanization. For example, to till a land of one acre, do you think agri or this particular farmer will be using big big tractors or all? Obviously, they will be using manpower and animals in order to till them. It means mechanization is also one thing which is a problematic aspect here. Frequent pest attacks which is the most obvious thing. Poor availability of credit and financial inclusion was not there. Here, if you observe, farmer who is not having a proper banking facilities will always tend to take loans from the local, you know, vendors. So, local people who are informal in nature, they will be taking debt from them. The, in, uh, the kind of interest that they, those people charge is very much higher. The farmer, by any chance, if he is not getting a proper crop in a proper time, for example, say there are some droughts, there are floods, there are climate change that impacts, farmer obviously get into a debt trap. So that is one important problem. Then poor yield, because if you are not having efficient agriculture inputs and if the land is not getting proper mechanization, obviously it will affect the yield of that particular farm. So poor yield is another problem. Lack of market access is also a problem and advisory, advisory, uh, you know, boards. For example, in Andhra, in Andhra Pradesh, we have something called Raitu Suraksha Kendras or something. They will be giving advisories to the farmers. That was one thing which is not efficiently functioning. So these are the nine key aspects that you can address in your answer when it comes to problems in agriculture. Because this was the report which was given by World Economic Forum. Seeing all these things, we can remember one quote of Dr. Manmohan Singh, where he says that agriculture in India is suffering from a technology fatigue. Former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh have given this particular statement. It means here you need to understand this particular report of World Economic Forum which was primarily talking about technology is asking us to implement something called the drone technology in agriculture. So before getting into the drone technology in agriculture, we need to understand what are all the concerns that were there in the agriculture. Farmer related concerns like raising input cost, monsoon dependency of agriculture. You were dependent on monsoon, you don't know when the rain comes. If the irrigation facilities were not there, obviously you all know that Indian agriculture agriculture is primarily depending upon the rain, rain, -fed, rain fed agriculture, isn't it? So that was one problem. Low level of mechanization, low productivity, formal credit is not there, crop insurances were not there, 
marketing issues were there feminization of agriculture it means more female labor are getting you know transferred to the agriculture sector because of migration migration is one such aspect which is improving the feminization of agriculture low income for example uh, if you i think uh, there was a report of government that says that the average income of farmer is rupees 10318 or so from all the sources this was what is the annual you know not not annual monthly income of a farmer from all the sources both from agriculture animal rearing etc etc it means it was a very difficult task for a farmer in order to sustain his life and also to invest in agriculture so that's what is the reason for low mechanization as well these are all the farmer related issues coming to the issues with respect to economy steady decline in agriculture sector as you have seen previously it was 50% of agriculture share which was there for your economy now it is 20% small and marginal farmers were more that was one particular problem because of this only we have fragmentations in the land holdings and all yes or no and we have disguised unemployment it means for a small land most of the people were getting recruited which is called as disguised unemployment no crop crop diversification is also an issue policy issues like you know the msp issues related to this particular agriculture product products low uh, research and development you know that was what one thing which is grabbing agriculture back then extensive services supply chain issues loan weavers these are all the issues concerned with the economy because when you simply weaving the loan it might see seem that it was benefiting but in a long the long run it will affect the the fiscal uh, situation or fiscal state of a of a particular country or a particular state so that, those are the related uh, issues that are related to economy now coming to the technology in agriculture that's what is the whole news all about isn't it we were concerned about high technological uh, advancement in agriculture here when it comes to technology these are the main important aspects that you can see the use of technology and data to improve food production is one thing which is india is con concentrated about and in india case it was third technological revolution in agriculture so this is one thing which is more significant then coming to the significance of technology in agriculture if we have technology in agriculture what is the important things that you can get firstly you will have precision in agriculture which will lead to reduce in the input cost and if the input cost is reduced there will be more productivity and it will increase the agricultural uh, you know uh, income from agriculture there will be rural development there will be sustainable agriculture there will be agri tech investments which will increase so that mechanization will increase and all whatever all the concerns and the issues that were addressed in the report and that concerns which were quoted those can be solved if you are inc increasing technology in agriculture so one such you know example is that you having gm crops drones you know micro irrigation facilities nano fertilizers e nam which is nothing but a uh, you know a marketing uh, application isn't it it's a network which will actually group up all the mandis isn't it e nam so these are all the things that were uh, like an example for technology in agriculture apart from that this particular world economic forum focuses primarily upon the using drone culture or drone technology in agriculture what is the importance of kisan drones it will help in survive, survive surveying and it will help in seeding spraying that particular you know pesticides and all a proper amount of actual amount what is what is required will be sprayed it helps in pollination as well this particular drones will take care of all the things that were required because farmer doesn't have an uh, uh, awareness that what kind of what amount of fertilizer what amount of pesticides should be used isn't it so that is one thing which you can inculcate here using kisan drone apart from that coming to this particular drone technology the uses with this with this particular technology is that seed propagation will be there pesticide spraying will be done yield prediction can be done land records can be maintained insurance assessment can be you know maintained crop monitoring will be there and also the advisors and analytics can be done with respect to that particular farm so those are all the important aspects of drone in agriculture coming to the implementation of this particular drone culture these are the things that you need to focus upon there should be service providers there should be indigenous manufacturers of this drone central government should support 
state agriculture department should support village level panchayat should uh, work in par with those particular you know norms financial service providers should be there krishi vikas kendra should work efficiently there should be a culture of agriculture universities and finally farmer producer organizations that is nothing what are farmer producer organizations there is nothing but a farmer collective a group of people who come together to work in for the benefit of farmers so these are all the people that you can that who can work efficiently in order to make this particular technology in agriculture more efficient now coming to the end of this particular topic we already discussed that uh, one nation one fertilizer is also something which is there in news so the recent steps of government with respect to this one nation one fertilizer is that pm pranam scheme which is pri primarily focusing upon the natural farming aspect and pm krisan Sam uh, samriddhi kendra so these are the people who actually give awareness with respect to modern fertilizers and all they will give all the inputs related to that they'll help farmers in all the aspects the other thing is uh, this particular pm bharati janavara prayojana this is one important scheme of the government which actually talks about one nation one fertilizer wherein you will be having a bharat brand a single brand of fertilizers which can be you know circulated all through the india and liquid nano urea this is one important step that was taken by government in order to implement this particular scheme so if you are improving this one nation one fertilizer and if you are using technology drone technology this will obviously help you to increase the inputs i mean you know uh, increase the yield of that particular agriculture farmland and also it helps in the uh, agriculture's contribution in the economy apart from that uh, these are some way forwards that we can actually you know go through what are the way forwards that we can write when we are talking about agriculture as such increasing domestic production is one way forward we can talk we can talk about the collaboration with the countries which were advancing in agriculture change in business model, model of fertilizer industries using bio fertilizers these are the way forwards that we can talk when there is a question asked about one nation one fertilizer so these are the suggestions that you can give apart from that when it comes to the general suggestion you can talk about ms swaminathan committee and also ashok dhalwai committee which were like standard committees for the you know agriculture as such now coming to the important scheme we have pm kisan we have pm krishi sichai yojana which was uh, about the irrigation facilities we have fasal bhima yojana which is an insurance scheme the kisan samriddhi kendra the pm pranam the kisan drones apart from that the best practice which you can uh, inculcate here is that andhra pradesh rait bharosa kendra which was the best practice that was seen so far in order to improve uh, you know awareness within the farmer when it comes to agriculture as such this particular sector the questions will be asked in such a way that there should be a suggestion in the end of the day so here you can use the way forward that we have discussed earlier or we can talk about uh, the ms swaminathan committee things that is land reforms irrigation reforms public investment formal credit insurance quality seeds msp calculation these are the things that we can tell and apart from that ashok dhalwai committee's recommendations like agriculture marketing in to be kept in concurrent trust physical infrastructure creation with respect to agriculture price information dissemination creation of farmer producer organizations the fpos which are nothing but a farmer collective so finally when you look into this particular infograph you can get all the content that was discussed so far remember seis is working for the betterment of this particular current affairs to make it more crisp and to be more mains oriented thanks a lot for attending the session everyone we'll meet with another topic tomorrow uh the things that were discussed here will be kept in the description box you can download this particular infograph from the description box itself please like share and subscribe to this particular channel so that we will be you know inculcating more intense news analysis for this thanks a lot everyone